here we are once again starting this vlog in the car. I definitely wanted to start it in front of my books, but that didn't happen this morning because I had not have three books that I am unhauling this month, specifically of the books that I've read. I want to explore some little free libraries I've not been to. So let me just show you the books that I am unhauling this month. First of all, we have Hearts Divided by these three authors. You guys know this was not the most riveting of books for me. Then I have The Bookish Life of Nina Hill, not my favorite. I think I gave it 2.5 stars. And then I have Forgotten, which I DNF'd after page 100 because I just really didn't like it. All of these actually I've gotten from Little Free Libraries, so it's kind of like I'm just returning them. But I'm going to go explore the Little Free Libraries, see if I can find the ones that are on the map that I've never been to. And it's just going to be a fun time, we hope. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so that was pretty successful, I would say. Such a cute little free library. I got this really beat up copy of Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Um, I just really, really love to have her novels as a collection. Although it looks very damaged, so I may not end up keeping this one. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this is a super nice area, like it's really peaceful. Kind of difficult to get to with my car because my car doesn't like hills. But I picked up Perfectly Yourself, which is basically all about discovering God's dream for you. case but I'm getting some really good like devotional type Christian living books today which is I mean I'm here for it I have been wanting to read this book for literally years whether I keep it forever and ever I don't know but I really wanted to read it and see the movie but it is heaven is for real I don't know why I just made that seem so suspenseful since you literally just saw me pick this up but oh my gosh this is on my Goodreads TBR I'm so happy Okay, so this next book is inspired by the hosts, uh, some of the hosts of the Stranger Things Readathon. It's called Doom <laughs> with a View, which I think that's hilarious and so cute. Like it looks cute and it's short. So I feel like I'm gonna give this a try.
and we're here for part okay. two. I have a huge stack of books actually to bring to Little Free Libraries today. A few of them are ones that I've picked up recently at Little Free Libraries and am not convinced that I'm actually going to add to my TBR and read. So I brought them out with me and a few are books that I'm wanting to donate. I'm kind of in the area an area where there is a university um, and a lot of people put textbooks in little free libraries out here and I feel like some of my old books could be useful because I'm not using them but someone else might need them so I brought some. Let me go ahead and just show you what I have. Bookish books first of all I have three. First of all I have this one which I love this cover it's so cool but I'm not convinced I'd actually read it. It's called The Highland Heart. I also got A Woman by Design. I picked both of these up in a little free library the other day, and I'm just not sure I want to read them. I also have the first of the Spiderwick Chronicles, and I have this because it's short and perfect for Fib Finder. But if I can find something better, I'll switch it out, you know? Then what I definitely have to put in little free libraries today, APA Manual, my social work, textbook and I liked that class fine it was in college it was like 10 years ago am I ever gonna use this again probably not and if I needed a book I could just look one up you know I have this cute five minute stories Winnie the Pooh book um, and then I have this hideous economics book this was my family economics class in college that's what I have today quite the stack and I'm just gonna drive around, see what I can find, and see what I can make of this. Okay, did I take two books when I only put in one? Yes, yes I did. But it's rare that I find more than one book in a little free library that I'm truly interested in. And these I am both interested in. Now, this seems like a thriller and I've been enjoying that. I'm kind of hoping to continue that trend in October. And this cover is so cool. <laughs> but then this one is a romance where a woman whose husband just left her ends up accidentally renting the same place as a guy whose wife just died i think so they end up sharing this house and she has kids and it's just i love that kind of trope if it's a clean romance i think i'll enjoy this if not i'll end up dnfing it and putting it back in the little free library so basically i just justified taking two books also just saying did you see how cute that one was it's adorable and it like matches the house that it's at it's so cute how is there always, there's always a fire truck every time I go a little free library hunting. It's just our thing, apparently. They had memoirs of a dutiful daughter this i really don't know a whole lot about but the title intrigues me and it's part of the rory gilmore like reading challenge so i picked it up and that's pretty exciting i put in my apa manual for that one hopefully someone can find it useful okay we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure for this next one it's kind of in it's kind of like on a curve and a narrow road and i don't want to park my car there so i parked a little bit far away we're just gonna walk i will bring these two books with me and just see what there is sorry to the random girl who just photo bombed my video video bombed
on today's episode of You Know You're a 90s Kid When, I picked up Tara Lipinski's autobiography all about ice skating, obviously. Tara Lipinski is one of the first, if not the first, Olympians I remember watching as like a small child. I remember so well the first Olympics that I watched and it was ice skating. The event that I was watching was ice skating. Um, and so this just gives me all the feels. Can we also talk about how it's perfect sweatshirt weather, but my car is so hot. Remember what I said about it being perfect sweatshirt weather? Well, yes, except if you're walking 450 miles the wrong way to get to a little free library. I literally just walked all the way down this hill back up in a giant circle and the little free library is like right over there compared to where my car is parked. Picked up Lilac Girls, which I swear I've heard of this. It is giving me things we cannot say vibes a little bit. Not 100% sold on this, but such a cute cover, like, that is goals right there. Crazy Rich Asians, which I typically don't like popular books, so I'm not sold on this, but it is a cool cover, everyone knows about it, like, we'll see. I think I'm going to probably try to switch this out with, at another Little Free Library, but... We'll see. We'll see what happens. In a turn of events, I love my overprepared self because I have a t-shirt in the back seat and I don't like wearing a t-shirt with these pants because they're definitely like not the thickest material. But if it's life or death, we're wearing it, you know? Here we go. Found another There's just been so much good stuff. First of all, I mean, you saw this, but I'm gonna talk about them. I got Rose Mortem, which I've heard people talking about this series. I just would love to try this because I'm interested in adding Holiday Buzz to my Bookmas TBR. So I wanna see if I like this first. It's, it's just like a regular copy, but I just, I am, I don't know why I'm just like struggling to read it on ebook and I just want to see if like the paper copy makes me read it faster. Do I think that I would keep this after reading it? I don't know for sure. I'm struggling because I loved listening to Nevermore. Like I found someone reading it on YouTube and that's how I listened to it and I loved the audio. So I'm curious if I need to read this physically or if I need to find an audiobook to continue to enjoy this. Not that I can't read it on ebook. It's just I don't know, it's not the vibe that I'm looking for. So we're gonna try this just regular 
physical copy. And I've heard people talking about this one. I'm not sure if I want to try this author, but the cover's cool and I've heard people talking about it. It's The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. And I'm not sold, but I really like the illustrations. Ew, I just saw something that I don't think I'll like. So I think this is gonna go in a different little free library. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I feel like it's a lot and we're just watching my hair get frizzier by the hour pretty much. We Were Liars by Eve Lockhart simply because I heard someone talking about this in a vlog and I can't remember who but they were saying it's their favorite book. If that's you, you inspired this. I can't remember who it was but it's a really cool cut. I'm like super intrigued by this but it's short and in good condition so I picked it up. I definitely am more interested in that one than the Ruth Ware book just to be honest. So we'll try that one out. Remember how I said I wanted to add Holiday Buzz to my Bookmas TBR and that's why I picked this one up? This little free library had Holiday Grind, which I need to read the synopses of these and see what I want to do about this, but it's a Christmas book. Not only that, it's another Christmas book that's upside down. This, I have no idea what it's about, so I'm literally going to sit here and I'm going to read the synopsis for each of these, figure out what I want to do, what I want to keep, and then we'll go from there because if I could get two more Christmas books, that would mean I only need two more, period. So that would be exciting. Um, okay, so when Village Blend manager and head barista Claire Cozy finds a red suited body in the snow she adds solving santa slaying to her coffee house menu i'm keeping that this one i will have to look up on my phone so i can't share it with you but i don't know it's cute like what the vibes i'm almost feeling like putting this back because i think i'm gonna enjoy the uh santa one and it's perfect for book miss, I might just put that back because I'm not really feeling the vibes right now. Okay, so this sounds good. It's basically like a bunch of designers, my understanding, a bunch of designers are decorating different rooms in this house. They all want, it's like a competition. They all want to be able to design a room in this house and decorators are going missing. That's my understanding of this. Now, is Christmas really the time for spooky books or am I going to need to read this in October because I just can't wait for book miss that is the question but I think this is a definite yes
coronavirus fear. I got this adorable book for my class because so cute it's the miracles of jesus it's a little flat book absolutely precious i figure we can use this like as kids are coming in if they want to look at a book or whatever and it's free like it's perfect girl wash your face by rachel hollis and i like rachel hollis i'm just not sure if i really want to read this book so i'm torn I might go check out some other little free libraries that I drove by that are the ones that I found today that I didn't stop at. Guys, I'm so happy I came to this one. This is probably the Christmas book that I'm most excited of the ones that I found today. It's four novellas, one of which, listen to this, the best gift is the tale of a teacher who has never known family, love, or Christmas, then finds all three when asked to chaperone one of her pupils over the holiday. Why does that sound so cute? The Star of Bethlehem features one betrothal ring lost, but three that are mysteriously found as a broken marriage is abundantly mended. This is going to be great, or at least it sounds great. Three Christmas books! Eee! That means I think I only need one more. That's everything for this experience of searching for little free libraries and books. I've never been out this long looking at books at little free libraries. I'm gonna bring all this home and I will show you everything that I got when I get back. Okay, hey guys, it is a couple hours later. I'm finally home. We're gonna talk about all the free books that I got this month, including today's little free library haul, the other day's little free library haul, and then the books that I got for Bookmas. I also forgot I also had another little free library mini haul. Very mini. <laughs> We'll talk about that in a minute. You guys remember I got this little lift of lap book for my class. I'm gonna go ahead, put that in my teacher box, and then we're gonna talk about all the other books that I got. Here we have the bookmas books, and then here we have all the non-bookmas books. So quite a big stack. Let's talk. Should we talk first about the bookmas books? I think we should. First of all, the very first one that I got, this was a couple weeks ago. In a little free library, I picked up this little golden book called The Biggest, Most Beautiful Christmas Tree. I think this is going to be perfect for hopefully sometime in the middle of Bookmas when I need to be able to catch up on reading some of the other books that I have opened. So the way it'll Let me work. just explain the way Bookmas will work is each day of the 24 days leading up to Christmas, I'll draw a number 
It'll match with one of the wrapped up books. I'll unwrap that book and I have that day to read that book. And if I finish that book, then I can read anything that I've opened in the previous days, but I can't go back and read any of the books I've already opened unless I finish that book that day. So this ideally will be great for any time between that day two to day 23 period where I wanna open it up I'm going to try to make sure that it's not the first or the last day because that would be kind of a bummer. But it'll be great to open this up, finish it up really fast, and then be able to catch up on any books that I am really wanting to read that I didn't quite get to on the day that they were chosen or whatever. Then I got some regular like Christmas books. First of all, a cozy coffee house mystery. I'm not really like a mystery reader usually, but Upside Down Readathon and then a couple of the books that I've read recently have me in this like mystery thriller vibe, which you'll see a little bit throughout these books. First of all, I got Holiday Grind. Now I have Holiday Buzz on my Bookmas TBR wishlist thingy on Amazon, but this was it. This was free. It was in a little free library. So I was like, I definitely need to pick this up. It's basically, I think someone kills Santa <laughs> and we're, we're trying to figure out what happened, which sounds kind of like yikes, but also very interesting. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I know a lot of people really like this series, so hopefully I will like it as well. And if not, it's, you know, it's worth trying. So I'm excited about that. I'm so excited about this next one. I think it's gonna be perfect for Bookmas. I hope it's not one of those that I'm like really, really excited and then it's a letdown, but oh my gosh. Under the Mistletoe. Now this was, I'm thinking, such a good find in a little free library today. It is five novellas, Christmas stories, sounds adorable. I'm just so excited about this and I really, really hope that they're like good novellas. I do feel iffy about books that contain shorter stories or novellas within the book because sometimes they're not as great, but it sounds like this author wrote these novellas separately, not specifically for this book, and then just like combined them instead of like wrote a bunch of novellas to put in a book if that makes sense so hopefully they'll be good they just sound so cute like a family christmas brings together a couple estranged since just after their arranged marriage the year before gives them the perfect chance to start over another one this teacher has never been in love or had the love of her family or anything and then finds all she's looking for when asked to chaperone one of her pupils over the holiday and like some of these are just so cute. It sounds adorable and I love the cover. So I'm really hopeful and excited about this. Then I picked up another kind of mystery vibe for the Christmas, <laughs> mystery Christmas. I don't know how I'm feeling about that, but I think it'll be interesting. The Nightingale Before Christmas. This basically, there's like a house and all these interior decorators compete to be able to decorate the different rooms in this house but then the decorators start going missing, I think is what happens. Sounds very intriguing. And I love the writing and just like the hardcover vibes. I love it. Very excited about this. And then the next book that I got, I didn't get in a little free library, but I did get it for free, saving up rewards points and gift cards and all that kind of stuff. I also got it on super good sale. This is The Christmas Wedding Guest by Susan Mallory. If you saw my Upside Down Readathon vlog, you know that I picked this up. I also read a Susan Mallory book over the readathon and I'm really excited about this. I love the dress on the cover. I feel like you can see it a little bit better in this lighting. It definitely feels like the binding's a little bit loose and the dust jacket's a little bit too big. I think that's why this was so inexpensive, but like it's for bookmas, it's fine. Like it's just for fun. I'm excited. I hope that I like this. And if not, no worries. Like it's, it's literally just for fun and it's such a pretty cover. I will show you the inside, the regular cover without the dust jacket during bookmas. So stay tuned for that in December. Overall though, I'm so excited about these. 
But let's go ahead and get into the non-Christmas books that I picked up in Little Free Libraries. All of these were free from Little Free Libraries that I got this month in exchange for books that I put in the Little Free Library system. So this is what we have here. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, but let's get into this. First of all, like I said, I'm feeling the like thriller kind of vibes. And this is called Hairpin, Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. And I love this cover. It looks so cool. Basically, person jumps off a bridge but they were stopped by the police about an hour before they did that's all i remember about this kind of intrigued to see what i think of this next one is a romance <laughs> hopefully i like it it might not be what i'm really looking for but if it is i kind of love the uh having to share space with someone you don't really know and like just seeing what happens trope I'm interested. I picked up a book that I've been wanting to read for years and I'm really excited about and that is Heaven is for Real and I had had it's not like a spin-off but I had a book I believe it was written by this author I think it's called Heaven Changes Everything and I unhauled it sometime this year I don't remember when but I had read that because I was interested in this one but I've never actually gotten to read this one, which is the one I really wanted to read. So I'm excited to read this. Do I plan to keep it forever and ever? Not necessarily, but I really do want to have read it. So, so excited for that. It is on my Goodreads TBR, so I love that for me, that I got to pick this up in a little free library. Also on my Goodreads TBR, courtesy of the Rory Gilmore Reading Challenge, this is one of the books that sounded interesting to me from that reading challenge. A couple years ago, I had gone through and added all of the books on there to my Goodreads. Recently, I went through and I took off most of them, uh, but this one made the cut because the title is interesting. So I don't know if I'm actually going to like it, but I saw it in a little free library today, so I picked it up um, and it's called Memoirs of a Dutiful Daughter. And I'm very curious to see what I think of this. An autobiography, which I love autobiographies. I don't as much like biographies. But autobiographies can be interesting. So we'll see what I think of this if I do ever get to it. I definitely want to try it out because I am intrigued. It perfectly yourself, basically seeing yourself the way that God sees you and made you who you really are and who you're supposed to be. That's all I know about this and it sounds great. I also really like the cover. It's very calming. The next one is something I'm actually currently reading, but I picked up the paper copy because I've been reading it on ebook, and that is Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow. I love the Never Nevermore series. At least I loved Nevermore. Now I listened, I think I explained this earlier, but I listened to Nevermore on audio, someone reading it on YouTube, and I really enjoyed it that way. I have been struggling a little bit to like be motivated to get through this on ebook. So I really want to try it as a physical copy. I also realized that this book is 500 pages, which means that it totally counts for the prompt that I drew for or that I rolled for Bookoplathon. So this is what I'm counting for this instead of way down there. the. Bible prophecy commentary because I'm going to save that commentary to read kind of as like a devotional next year, which I'm really excited about. I just don't want to like cram it into one month and there's no way that I would finish it this month. So this is going to be that prompt instead. And then for mood read, I'm really feeling like reading the final gambit. Like I'm really wanting to get through that series. I was gonna put it on my October TBR, but I think I'm just going to try to get it if I can. And that be my mood read. Just thought I would like update you on that book on fun while I was holding this. I think the fact that it's so big will motivate me to keep reading because then I can like physically feel the progress that I'm making, which is like the dumbest thing. But if you know, you know, there's something satisfying about feeling how far you've gotten along in a book. All right, so next is a book that I'm excited to put on my October TBR, hopefully, fingers crossed. It is called Doom with a View, and I don't remember what this is about. I think it's just like a mystery at an inn, and that's all I really remember, so I think I'm gonna leave 
myself with that and not reread the synopsis. I, it just sounded cute whenever I was reading it. It gives me Casper the Friendly Ghost vibes. So I'm hopeful. Yeah, it's called A Merry Ghost in Mystery. It just looks so cute. I hope it actually is and it's not like spooky and terrifying, but like, I think that'll be great for October. And it's kind of short, so very excited about that. 90s kid, Olympic lover vibes. <laughs> And it is Tara Lipinski's Triumph on Ice, her autobiography. Like I said, I like an autobiography more than a biography. And it's short. I don't know if there are pictures or anything, but like it looks super easy to read. Very excited about this. Five-year-old Sandra was watching Tara Lipinski and all her teammates ice skating at the Olympics. And that is when I first loved watching the Olympics. So when I saw this, it just brought back all those kid memories and I just had to get this. Like, how could I not? I'm really excited to read this. And then lastly, I got something inspired by a vlog that I was watching. The person, whoever it was, was saying how this is their favorite book and it is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And I'm excited to try this, I think. I don't know how I feel about it because I really don't remember what it's about. But it says, a beautiful and distinguished family, a private island, a brilliant damaged girl, a passionate political boy, a group of four friends whose friendship turns destructive. Sounds very much like Pretty Little Liars vibes again. Here we go again with like the um, last time I lied vibes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what I think of this if I get to it. But it's short. And that's why I was like, if this is someone's favorite book then I should try it, you know? Anyway, here, here are all the books that I picked up that are not Christmassy. I kind of love how they mostly match. I love when that happens. And of course, the books that I picked up that are Christmassy and the one that I picked up for my I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I visited a lot of little free libraries, switched out a lot of books. Sorry if it was a little bit chaotic, but I think that's part of the fun. That's what I love about little free libraries is you never know what you're going to find and what you can swap out. I don't know. It's just so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you love little free libraries and also which of these books intrigues you the most. I know that's a hard question, but like, which one would you pick up if you could only choose one? On that note, I will talk to you guys next time. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here and want to see more. I will talk to you guys next time with hopefully a reading vlog. Fingers crossed. But on that note, talk to you guys next time. Bye.